Okay, so uh, it pretty much the overhead panel is, is much like a triple seven. So that's a new feature on the aeroplane. A lot of the uh, controls and indications are very intuitive and uh, they'll be in, in the right place and be very familiar with the functions and features. So it'll be a very familiar environment for a triple seven pilot and a seven seven pilot. As we've moved through 2022, what we've seen is, in fact, as markets have opened and restrictions have dropped, the, the market demand for air travel has actually increased faster than we mostly have thought. In general, our, our outlook in 2020 was that the market was going to return to pre-COVID levels sometime between 2023 and 2024, which we still believe to be the case. But the acceleration in 2022 has been fantastic, and it's because of that pent-up demand and the really the essential nature of air travel in terms of conducting business, connecting people, and connecting goods and services. We've never seen a situation quite like this. You know, you had an unprecedented demand drop back in 2020, and we're coming roaring back. And at the same time, you've got very high fuel prices. So airlines want new jets to meet demand, and they want new jets because of the importance of saving on fuel, which in this fuel environment is absolutely crucial. I, I kind of contest that. I, I, we think this is a growth market. Um, how we achieve net zero emissions starts with newer, more efficient aircraft that replace existing aircraft in the market by a factor of 20, 30, even 40 percent in some cases. On top of that, uh, the industry is working to uh, bring into scale uh, sustainable aviation fuels, which will tremendously lower the emissions of the, of the uh, uh, aviation industry. And then beyond that, it's future technology. So what other zero emission technologies can we build alternative fuels, hydrogen power, other electrification that drives the market um, for the next 20 years or 40 years or even beyond in terms of the technology that we're looking at. You know, it's rather difficult because at the end of the day, there's no clear roadmap to decarbonize aviation. There are a lot of ideas. You're seeing a lot of those ideas on display at the show, and that's very welcome. But in terms of there being a clear roadmap, not so much. Most likely, it'll be a mix of emerging technologies like sustainable aviation fuel coupled with slightly lower demand growth rates uh, to achieve anything like the goals that we aspire to. Now, we're only about two or three percent of world emissions, so, you know, perhaps it's okay if we're the last to decarbonize, but on the other hand, people pay a great deal of attention to us. Uh, they stay here. 